Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Rabbit, and welcome to episode number 109 of Let's Blindly Play Through Romancing Saga Minstrel Song on the PlayStation 2. In our previous episode, we made it to Aldberg, which seems to be the ruins of a castle for giants. We're not really too sure why we are here. The minstrel gave us this story, and it's essentially implied that either the giants are living and going to give us something that will allow us to defeat Sarween, or at least stand a better chance against Sarween, or they're all gone, or deceased, or whatever. They're no longer present here in Mardius, but they might have left something behind in these ruins that we'll be able to use when we face Sarween. We don't really know. That's the story that I've brought up on the screen here, but we are ready to just go ahead and explore Aldberg and see which... It actually happens to be. Are we going to find the actual living giants and talk to them? Are we going to find a treasure or something? I don't know. But what on earth? I can move this. And it's not... Okay. I actually probably need to pay attention to what's going on. I don't see any clues or anything. I guess... Okay, they're both facing the door and it's not open. Let's try having them face the entrance, how we initially got in here. Okay, so the left one is facing the entryway. We'll go ahead and shift this right one. And it's still, I don't think it's open. I would assume it would just automatically move the doors forward. Did we have them both facing opposite directions? I think that's how it started. I don't know. I was too busy talking about Oldberg. I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh, you guys. Story of my life, right? Some of you are probably thinking, Rabbit, we can't wait for you to be done with this Let's Play. You're not doing Romancing Saga any justice. I'm aware of this, friends. Second time around. Second time around. I'll get my, my act together. Okay. Let's try having them face each other. I think that's the only setup I can think of that we haven't tried. Ah, there we go. That is what we needed to do. Well, let's move along. That didn't take us too terribly long. Hopefully the puzzles here will be pretty simple. Oh, I'm guessing it is going to be treasure that we'll be finding here then. So we've got an ultra bomb. Very nice. I might actually want to start using my bombs more. It's just not been... Uh, 500 gold? Could I get jewels? 500 jewels would be incredible game. Can I get 50? Anything. My goodness. Uh, that door is closed. Well, let's go... Ooh, Claudia. Not into the wall. Let's go to the right. We're not seeing any monsters. Hold on, hold on. Let me go down. We've got this bomb. Restores a great amount of HP. One use only. Does anyone have a free slot? I don't... Well, Claudia's got a normal bomb plus her first aid kit. He's got a bomb. You've got... Well... Miriam technically does, but she has a heal as well, so I don't think it's that necessary. Meh. We've made it this far without it, right? Why do we even need to worry about improvements? Clearly, we've, we've got this down. <laughs> and I'm saying that totally tongue-in-cheek. I'm still triggered from that encounter with the Jewel Beast. I don't know what I need to do to take him down. I kind of talked to you guys about this. Was it in our last episode? Maybe two episodes ago? That I think... Ooh, 17 jewels. The game heard me complaining, y'all, and it rewarded my complaints. I was mentioning that I think getting Diana to level 4 Rosalian Officer is going to make a huge difference. She's always been kind of a, a tanky, beefy character for us since I went down the Ros Rosalian Officer path, but I think having her level four would have made a significant difference. Just something, I guess, for me to keep in mind. Y'all need to leave me alone. Hey, there's another chest. So far, we haven't found any treasure with anything important, though. 300 more gold. Hey, 24 more jewels. Let me see. Maybe there are chests that we need to be finding in the corners. I probably shouldn't be in that much of a hurry. It's not like the puzzles seem to be that difficult. Oh my goodness, but now I'm triggering all the monsters. Well, I guess I knew it came with the tear. Rare monsters. Ratori? What is this? Cyclops. I don't think we've seen this thing before. I really don't know how I feel about it. Let's get rid of all of his bros. Oh my god, y'all. 
And John, are you really starting with 17 BP? What is up with that? That's a lot, you guys. My goodness. Let's switch to... John, you almost have too much going on. I can't keep up. Let's switch to your... Mm, no, I take it back, friend. Oh my gosh. I need to get John... Because his Falcata is so promising, but so many things are going to take away the... The durability of his weapon. I kind of don't like... Even though it was harmonious material that we imbued with the Falcata last, seems like it really made it worse, don't you think? Anyway, we can worry about that later. Let's just use his quarter staff on the Barbarian. We'll throw out our Shockwave. And Diana, you are looking good, girl. We won't use our spear. Let's switch to your Garal sword. We've upgraded Mama. She's, she's looking real good. I think getting John... A higher, oh, pillar. Oh my god. Well, we're doing this on the wrong monster. Maybe I should have focused the Cyclops. I'm guessing the Cyclops is going to be much tougher than the Barbarian. But then again, I don't remember. I think the Barbarian is a fairly formidable opponent as well. But can you imagine how great that would have been on the Cyclops? Well, we'll see what he does. We'll see. No point getting ahead of ourselves. Okay. 300 damage. Can you guys stop? What? What is this? Well, I guess fixed battle order might be the way to go. I wish there was a way to set it as the default, though. Because it's really a little inconvenient to have to switch constantly. But it's okay. We'll do an instant shot into you. Gray, you should be okay for a blitz. And at this point, I don't think it matters that much. And then Diana's all that's left. I think it feels a little more... I don't know. It's not as fluid going through this type of battle order as it is just letting it kind of be a free-for-all and whoever goes first goes first. So, I don't know. There's absolutely strategy to utilizing the more free-form battle order. Mm. I guess fixed is the one where you choose. And free is where whoever needs to go just goes. I'm guessing it's based on your weight, or there's some metric. I remember reading this, I just can't remember which one it was, that influences who potentially goes first or last or whatever. I mean, I guess that probably still applies even if your order is, is fixed. It just allows the enemy to go before a certain person. I don't know. Anyway, give me all them stats, I will take it. Can I get some jewels from this, though, game? Okay, bye. I see you. Trying to meet me halfway there. I appreciate you. Okay, there was nothing around here. I kind of feel like, should we just go ahead and fight all these stupid monsters? Oh, God. Well, let's at least get... Never mind. I was going to say a chain. Oh, God. We're not going to do plasma shot. Wait a minute. We've not seen this before. A Shuravine. It's like the next level of the plant monster thing, it looks like. Well, this will at least be easy, I'm assuming. No big boys around here. But I kind of want the stats because we might have to fight a, a giant, y'all. It's very possible. I don't know what to expect, so I'm just going to prepare for the worst. I'm going to always try to be prepared. Again, after that jewel beast. <laughs> oh, Lord. I uh, had a very rude awakening that we're perhaps not as powerful as I had hoped. Well, I think we're okay, to be honest, and to give myself some credit. I think... I've kind of pulled my team together. You know, it's not as good as it would have otherwise been. But I don't think we're just so awfully behind that it's a lost cause. Okay, how much HP do you have? Do you guys see this? I guess I should not have sold them short, should I? My goodness. And they do some big damage. Whew. Okay. Good thing there's only a few of you. Poor Gray. I'm not going to let you die. Well, I had to think about this. Do I actually want to? Yeah, I'm not going to let him fall. We will not let you die, Gray. Keep it together. And we will suplex on him. Throw out a little energy bolt and another cross cut. I don't think he's going to die. We hadn't really been focusing this one too much. But, oh, never mind. I love it when my team surprises me. More BP, some edgy, some calm. I said calm, you guys. 
Mine's out of the gutter, please. We're trying to save the world. We're trying to figure out, are there still giants? Do they have the materials I need to be successful in Why facing Sarween? No? See, All but right. then we get this. You know what I mean? Dehydrated plants, Alsacs. Like, do you know how old news these monsters are? This is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, I guess I should be happy and take my victories where I can get them. And it's good to have an easy peasy one. Ooh, time lapse. Hey, more for Diana. I'm always happy about that. Anyway, I don't know how I got off on this tan random tangent about I don't even know what I was saying. Getting people to level four is going to be the way to go. I believe it shouldn't be too terribly difficult to get Diana there. Oh, John's going to be the difficult one, I think. It's just martial arts. I'm I'm assuming martial arts is probably OP late game, and maybe that's the ticket. If you were playing like the second time or you know third time, whatever, and you had kind of done a better job than I did of managing your jewels. I think focusing on martial artists incredibly early on in your game. John probably would have been unstoppable by now, or whomever. You know, I guess Claudia could have even been... Well, this takes us upstairs. We did see there was a left-hand path. I wonder if I should go back and run to that left-hand side. Well, you know, whatever. We're here on the second floor. I'm vocalizing this to you all, and mostly for myself so that I can keep it in mind, that there was that path. We'll go back down if it looks like this is going to take us to the giants or to their tomb or wherever we're headed. I really don't know how the story is going to pan out. Oh my god, more monsters? I'm just looking for treasure and secrets. Okay, leave me alone. I'm just running to this other side. But we, I guess we haven't had any hidden treasure yet come up. Oh my god. And he got me. Oh no. There's the big boy. I think we might want to get rid of the dehydrated plants first, though. We can't have them getting these little pot shots, y'all. I don't think so. Not today, Satan. Dehydrated plants should be dead. I'm going to wait and see. we get some more BP. Oh, yeah. Very easy. Oh, my gosh. See, that's too much. No! You guys are focusing the wrong one. Oh, my gosh. Well, okay. And the shockwave, wow. This is not how I wanted this to start out. Not at all. Oh, but it's okay. Let's see, he does physical damage, I think, so I really should prioritize messing with that. I don't remember what takes all that down. I need to do a better job of recalling who's got what and what it does. Sometimes, oh, it stuns. That's not really what I'm looking for either. And he's a plant monster, so that's not going to do it. Uh, great, you know, I guess we're just going to go with what's going to do the most damage with you. I don't think you have what I'm looking for. He might. What is this? Sometimes decreases. Oh, intellect, because I was trying to use that on the jewel beast. And <laughs> you guys saw how that went. Not very well. That is for damn sure. Whatever. We'll just... We'll roll with it. We'll make this happen. I don't know what this thing is weak to, though. I I guess we'll just try different things and see. I was thinking we have something that... We have a few things that lower strength. Oh, multi-shot. Get him, Claudia. Get him! Oh, my goodness. Stop hitting. Great! You guys, we got to get rid of this thing, please. As quickly as possible. Oh, okay. Well... That did the trick. And more strength and dexterity. Willpower, HP. Okay, Claudia. No need to flex this hard. And a little bit more HP for Diana. That makes her even tankier than before, so I will take that. One thing that I do wish is that you could... Whatever, we'll just fight him. He's already over here. I do wish that you could kind of control how your character's stats scale a little bit more. I know that that's, you know, that's part of the whimsy of the game is that... Not everything is in your hands. You kind of have to roll with the punches, and it does make for a high level of replayability, right? Because one playthrough, your characters might scale in a way that's very favorable to what you're wanting, and then in another one, it might be a bit of a bust. And 
they might not entirely roll the dice the way that you'd like in terms of which stats they they accrue more points in. Uh, everyone's at, well, Diana's not looking so good. John, I think I'm gonna have you. I mean, whatever. And as for you, Miriam, I want you to heal up Diana. We'll do Shimmering Slash. This should kill this white. These guys were tough back in the day, but now you're nothing. Oh God, I guess I shouldn't have said that to him. He was like, oh yeah, I'll show you nothing. Yeah, you sure did show me nothing. Oh, charge, get him! Yes, John! That's what I'm waiting for. Oh my God. Well, I guess they are tougher than I, than I thought. Charge, put the weight of your body behind your strike by rushing the enemy. All right, I like that, and it actually is one he can use, and I don't have to worry about losing LP. Oh, it looks like all of these? No. Yeah, yeah, it does say LP. Whereas these other ones are DP. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll charge into him again. Should I heal you up, John? I don't think so. We'll have Miriam take care of that, and we'll do a cross cut. And it should be a wrap for him pretty soon as well. Oh, especially if we're Wombo combo in him. Oh, yeah, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to find something on this floor. Oh, a bone amulet. Gosh, the money. I don't need the money. But we did spend quite a bit <laughs> when I was attempting to strategize how we needed to take down the jewel beast. I don't know if that one's going to happen, y'all. That might need to be a rematch. That's another one of these ogres. What is he doing? Just chilling, I guess. All right, well, we got the time. Let's see what he's got. Oh. Uh Oh, he's got a couple friends. Ooh, y'all, I don't know. We might really need to. The goblin mages can be pains in the ass. We're not doing this. Screw this guy. I think let's take him out first. Oh, and this attacks multiple enemies. Ooh, but there's a chance it lowers his DP. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. Golden note. Well, it's just one enemy. I need more AoEs. Mm, I guess... I guess we'll stick with Blitz. That's probably gonna... Well, these are beasts, right? Are they, though? I don't know. I don't know what all of these creatures are, and that's part of my problem, maybe? I'm not sure what's the most effective thing to use. Well, I do know this for sure. The Goblin Mage has got to go. They usually are the ones that cause a lot of problems for us when these goblins appear. So we'll see. If I can take him out before... Oh, all right, never mind. I probably did a little too much then on him. Oh, no, you guys are focusing the wrong person! Well, intelligence or intellect is not what we really need to worry about with the goblin, right? I don't think he did any magic when we fought the other one, but I could be wrong. Let's see, Gray and John are both looking rough. Mm, I think we'll be okay though. I'm gonna take out Goblin Knight A. John, take five. I'm gonna have you assist. I'll have you heal Gray. Miriam will heal John. And let's try Shimmering Slash into Goblin Knight A as well. Hopefully it'll just move over to Goblin Knight B if this one dies instead of them focusing the guy that's front and center. Well, he should die. Okay, and he's gone. Woo, y'all, we are just slaying. I'm so proud of my team. I don't know why we can't take this stupid jewel beast down. But it is what it is. We're not gonna cry over spilled milk. It'll be fine. Let's get an instant shot in this other one. I'll do another blitz. Thank we can go ahead. Uh, why don't we just double stab Goblin Knight? I think she's okay to throw out another shockwave. Yeah, she is. And we'll start focusing the Elder Manti. I want to start. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That was easy. We should be able to take down this ogre in it. Not mess with the. Oh, yes. I love my team looking out for one another. The shockwave, kind of bad timing, but. Oh, he's called a castle guardian. 
He's not an ogre. Wasn't the other one an ogre? Or was I not paying attention? I don't remember, to be honest with you guys. Well, this sometimes stuns, and it'll give us a chance to build up your BP. Do you have anything that... There's got to be something that lowers strength. I just don't know. I just don't know. What is it? Mm, this also sometimes stuns. Oh, square throw sometimes decreases strength. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We'll do energy bolt and another cross cut. I just want to be doing something, you know? I mean, he's not really messing with us that much, but I don't want to give him the upper hand either. You know, getting cocky, that's a way to really lose your advantage. What do they always say? Pride cometh before the fall? Yeah, I'm not trying to live that out here. Not all right, at all. Here goes. Okay, but will he die? It's clear we killed your friends. You should just submit. Oh, Claudia, hold on. Talking about submitting. We're going to take a few seconds and fix ourselves. I'll try Squirt Throw again. Might as well. We'll just see what Pulverize does. I don't know if it's going to be that effective. But, you know, oh no, Claudia. You guys, please don't kill this thing while she's dead. Please don't kill this thing while she's dead. Oh my goodness, they're going to though. Oh, they didn't. Good job, team. Okay, we'll do another Impact Slash, John. I always go the wrong way. You guys, without fail. Oh. Uh, Diana's looking a little rough, too. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want us to kill this thing before Claudia comes back. Bomb toss. What? And then it took another one of Claudia's. Can you stop? Blood rage? What on earth? <gasps> what? That is hella disturbing. Can we have a quick second to look at that? What even? Gray, you don't even know that. And he also has a long sword. Okay, well, but I don't think he's... Well, he's level four. I guess I've been focusing more on his foils, though. So that might be my mistake. What the heck? We also didn't look at what Claudia... She got that multi-shot. It can wait, it can wait. But just a reminder for me. Oh my goodness. Miriam, you're being healed, right? No, you're not. Yeah, actually, I actually think Claudia's healing you. I hope Claudia's healing you. Otherwise, this could go pretty badly. Blood Rage, a ferocious assault of multiple strikes. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I like the animation for it, too. That was pretty cool. You gotta give them credit. They, they really did a good job in making a lot of these animations so interesting. Either they're beautiful, like I think the kaleidoscope looks nice. Whatever that dancing move, sword ballet, I think is what it's called, that Grey has, looks nice too. I mean, the pillars always look remarkable. You can't, you can't be mad at it. Oh my gosh, that was a little tough though. All right, we'll take our gold, we'll take our jewels, and we will take our leave. I feel bad though, we kind of just showed up and then, oh, well. Something just fell, so maybe this was the way we needed to go? I don't know, but I see a treasure chest, so that's what I'm messing with. Gimme, what is this? Oh, Cyril's Bracers. Don't we have these already? I'm pretty sure somebody has these. Maybe not. An armlet made of blessed wood. <clears throat> Excuse me, friends. Grants immunity to curses and increases willpower as well as being strong against status ailments, whatever that means. I want to say someone has this. Let's see, the Moonstone, next. Beast Spangle, next. Nymph Spangle, uh, yeah, Cyrus Bracer, she's got them already. Huh. Very interesting, we paid for these. So why, I don't know. What is this, strong against slash attacks? but decreases dexterity. I mean, I guess I could give this to someone else, but look at that drop to defense. And dexterity doesn't really affect her. And I don't really want 
to remove any of the fate stones. The beast bangle increases vitality. That's so nice. And again, mm, I don't think that's worth to remove either. And this, let's see, captures the essence of water, increases compassion, and charisma. Yeah, I just, I think it's just going to be selling fodder. Okay. I don't know where all we're going. Let's go back downstairs. We won't have all of this in this episode because I, I guess we have kind of reached a good stopping point, right? With regard to taking out one of the castle guardians. I feel a little bit bad about it, but let's go back and just see what is on that first floor. This looks like the way we are supposed to be going. I'm guessing, oh, well, do I know where I'm going though? That's the question. Oh, I guess it was like this. Yeah, it was a straight shot. Okay, so I'll take us back to that room where we first even took those branching paths. Oh God, hopefully no monsters are back. Please don't fight me. Oh, they don't repopulate, do they? They never have. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, you guys. This hasn't even been that long of a recording session. I don't know what's going on with me. I'll probably take maybe a little tea break. Come back in an hour and we'll just continue going through the motions. It was here, right? Yes, this room with the two chests. So when we come back together in episode number 110, we're going to head to the left-hand side and just see what's in this other section of Aldberg Castle. So until then, everyone, take care, be good, and I, your host, Rabbit, eagerly look forward to seeing you in just a moment. So thank you again for watching and for joining me for my blind run through Romancing Saga, Minstrel Song on the PlayStation 2. Take care, be good, and I'll meet up with you all here in just a moment.